When you wake up tomorrow morning, you might reach for some cereal or some oatmeal for breakfast. But recent headlines claim some of the most popular brands like Cheerios and Quaker Oats may have pesticides linked to fertility issues in animals. So several verified viewers texted our team to ask if this is true. And tonight, then Tampa Bay anchor John Sidorowicz is here to verify. Our sources are a study published in the Journal of Exposure Science and Environmental Epidemiology, the Environmental Protection Agency, and other published studies about the pesticide that's in question here, chlormaquat. Chlormaquat is a pesticide that's used by oat and wheat farmers outside of the U.S. And in February, scientists with the Environmental Working Group published a study that found chlormaquat was in 11 of the 12 non-organic oat products it tested including Quaker Oats and Cheerios. The EPA allows wheat imported into the U.S. to contain some levels of the chemical, and the amount detected was below the limit the EPA considers acceptable for human consumption. Now, it's also unclear whether chlormaquat causes fertility issues in humans because there have been no studies on it. Research is only focused on fertility in animals, and there are contradictory results, even in studies that have been conducted by the same scientists. So while it is true that a recent study found a pesticide that is linked to possible infertility in animals is in oat products, the amount was well below EPA limits, and there have been no studies on its effects in humans. As always, you can email your questions to verify at 10tampabay.com, or you can text 727-577-8522. With your Verify, I'm Josh Sidorowitz. Tonight.